okay uh, so first basically if we go with what is service uh, now it started ticketing tool uh, to raise the tickets to work on tickets so the it started as a competitor with whatever was their bmc ibm they are they were the current co uh, earlier competitors earlier ticketing tools with respect to that this now came up with the ticketing tool the basic idea or the main theme was to implement ticket incident so going back to some background on this incident uh, we have something called itil methodology right? itil which means incident change and problem so these are the three main things so let us see what each of them does uh, we are going back with that introduction because that is the base of the service now service now was built with that functionality and gradually that got uh, the other areas also were implemented so now come uh, we have seen what is incident that whenever we encounter any problem whenever we face any issue we call the customer care or we call the respective people and raise a complaint that is incident so now like the people who will work on that they will consider it as a incident and they will start working on that now coming to what is problem like for example your laptop is rebooting every one hour so you cannot raise incident every one hour that your laptop is rebooting so what you will do as this incident is occurring recur recursively like every one hour repeatedly this incident is occurring so you will the, the team will lodge it as a problem so there is some problem with your laptop that is the reason it is happening every one hour it is rebooting and the team will work as a problem they will analyze the root cause what is the reason why your laptop is rebooting what is the issue and they will fix it so that is problem if a incident is occurring recursively or repeatedly that is called a problem they will lodge problem change is something okay whenever you have something and you are bringing up a change like for example you have a laptop and you want to install some software so that will be as a part of change already there are set of 10 applications which need to be installed and you are adding one more to that so that will be kind of change change to the environment so this we okay uh, all together this three incident change problem we call all together as itil that is itsm module the service management module so that is the basic service now implemented like when service now started it was a main functionality that was implemented so this is clear yes yes let me know if you feel i'm going fast you can let me know okay so now the agenda now i have given the basic like why service now has begun what is the main use case was that so what is service now who use advantage so this is the agenda how we go through that now uh, like now everywhere the cloud is booming in that cloud like we have different kinds of cloud as service as a uh, cloud service and even the platform but this service now is an example of saas that is sir like the application we are putting into the cloud this service like it is not on hosted on one system or one server in one server room instead this is on this application is hosted on the cloud the main advantage of having it on the cloud is zero downtime so like the service now will never be down you can never see downtime in the service now that is the main advantage of cloud 
and you can access from any part of the world if it is in cloud without any special access or something that can be accessed worldwide so this this is the main objective of the service now as i mentioned earlier it started as a ticketing tool to raise incidents change request and all but now it has very wide range of use case wide range of applications it is being used so any questions with respect to the base why we need service now no ma'am uh, no no okay so now coming to who use it uh, okay who use it is very general question for the service now it is in a company or in a employ uh, organization everyone use service now it's not even like if i have to request for a laptop i have to raise request in service now if i have any issues with respect to anything maybe a conference room or any issues like even if we go with the major internet providers whenever we launch a ticket they use the team even uh, gopi is from the service desk team whenever they receive a call on saying that there is a issue they will launch a ticket on the service now yes. so it is kind of everyone use it and managers use it to view the reports like we have nice looking very fascinating kind of dashboards that we can design in the service now the pie chart bar graph so many things to see the what is uh, now the managers they are mainly will be interested in money so what is a profit what is a loss all those things we can pictureize it very nicely in the service now so in that case the managers can use it in service now we have hr module wherein like if it is a new onboarding uh, how that will be taken care uh, all the like whatever the onboarding stuff we will have everything that the hr team will make use of it teams like whenever we raise a access or we raise a ticket to for a laptop or something in turn the te team works on that to provide us so it has wide range of users as a developer like if we come to the other end so we saw from as a end user who all can use but as a background like in the back end the developers will be there testers will be there even to solution we have architect who will be working on this so yes the manager architect developers testers are from the back end we will be working on that so this is on who use the service now i mentioned like in use in one word we can say everyone in the organization in one or the other way they will be using it okay now am i too fast no no okay no no you're not okay now okay coming to the advantages of service now uh, earlier we had only itsm that is the incident problem change only these things we had but now main advantage okay other than what is there in the service now main advantage is it is a cloud so there will never be downtime and maintenance wise it is easy for us for the developers or the for admins it is easy maintenance because a server goes down or database goes down it is not headache on the team to work it is server end the team the service now team will fix it so it is ease of maintenance no downtime that is major advantages of going to cloud and service now was the first one to implement this itsm on the cloud now other now itsm is everywhere we have lot of other things like i mentioned hr modules we have new onboarding things the payrolls everything even uh, 
there are couple of things like agile methodologies that is to uh, that is some set of rules or some set of framework for us to work like uh, we cannot work randomly we have to get work assigned we have to uh, see who will be the end user for the work assigned so all those things everything we have in service now item that is like event management we have uh also the discovery like uh, for example you know if i give a range of ips all the in the range of ips all the um all the servers or all the computer all the assets whatever comes in that that will be discovered automatically we don't need to uh, like for example uh, you have some hundred servers you don't need to manually scan, discover or manually put hundred servers manually instead you can give the range like for example 10.20.10 to 10.20.100 so that it will scan the complete range of servers and it will auto upload so we have that functionality event management if any server goes down or if any printer goes down if any network device goes down we get a event or the alert pop up so that we will get notified very easily and yes so itbm is for business management specially so that is with respect to like how many business applications we have what are the different projects that are in the organization so all this come under itbm these are very like reporting and dashboard that is the, uh, reporting is generally we have and nice looking dashboards we have uh, we have something called service portal it is like a web url wherein you can like how we do in amazon just go search and place order we can do similar way in the portal just search for the it and order it so that is how so these are the main advantages of the service now so here we can even design our own application if you want to be a, a hardcore developer with scripting you can go with that you have all the abilities in service now wherein you can create your own application and if you don't want any coding or anything if you are not good at scripting even with zero knowledge in scripting you can go and create your applications you can do all the automations all the integrations without any scripting that is the advantage everything is like easy way easy to understand and a layman language there is nothing hard code which you cannot do so that is the advantage of service now so i believe like anyone in this uh, call or in this team can do this there is no hard and fast rule that you have to have background of something you should know itsm module or you should know scripting no nothing without any background we can build anything in service now so this is clear yes so here you can see this screenshot this is major customer but there are a lot of customer more than that everywhere you use service now this is just a screenshot from google for just a example of the customers okay now coming to the versions like uh, service now has very different way of versioning every version like it is not like version 1 version 2 it will always have the name of the place or the famous cities like it had kingston then london madrid then after madrid i mean new york now london rome so it will have that way the famous cities names so rome is in my like present version is san diego so before and it will be in alphabetical it came from starting from a now it is at the s so now the present version available is san diego 
but in most of the companies they use always n minus one what is in the market one version below before before that so before san diego it was rome and um, most of the companies currently use rome version and service now will release two versions every year like this year san diego was one the next upcoming will be tokyo it will start from t after yes it is t so this is how the versioning goes i know it is difficult to remember the name so you can remember maybe last three or four versions you can remember it it's not that you have to remember from a to yes or t right now so this is clear all these things yes yes okay now what i'll do uh now we will see the actual how it looks let me ping this to you you can go here i will ping this on the chat you can open from your end different varieties which you can go through like we have service now admin we have service now testers we have service now developers so these are the three different things where one can go uh so from here you can click on sign up and start building and you can just give all these details you can do with your personal email id is you can log in country and uh, you can just sign up so this is to create our admin account yes oh okay you can sign up and let me know i already have a account so let me sign in you sign in this will be the page you get started like do you code yes no you can choose whatever you work you can we can go with yes then it will ask what are your responsibilities you can just select all of them so whenever you select all it will give the suggestions as per your selection so now here there are request instance can you see this you can click on that so it will automatically like it will ask which one you want to create the versions available so you can go with san diego click on start building so this is the version like it will be automatically created you don't need to do anything just by clicking on request instance you will get it and you can click on start building it will navigate to that here uh, in the developer dot service now you have lot of things like learning overview learning opportunity courses tutorials everything like if you are a developer how you can start if, if you are see here you have if you are new to service now what are the things so if we will have like the learning plan it is like the modules are there you can just go on reading complete it so here yes this is the instance what is there this is with the latest version san diego good with this uh -huh. okay this is cool so here you can see the filters the different filters and all and this is favorites this is workspace and this is a search bar this is a home button this is with the latest version san diego and let us see mm, i think i closed it yes this is cool okay so let us start with service now
Okay. Uh, give me a minute. Let me see the instance. So this is the instance what we can see. Like suppose if you want to change the uh, demo data or release instance, whatever, you can just go with release. Now we will go back to go back and see how will be the earlier version. You can even release. It is like a pool. Uh, as soon as you start using, you will get an instance. And as soon as you say you do not want to use, you will not get instance. It is like that. Now you can see, uh, you will get it as request instance again. This is how we will request the instance. Now, request what is what is that? I mean, what is instance? Instance is this one, the one which we opened this, right? This is called instance. Yeah, like the application, whatever we open in service now, it is called as instance. Okay. So, yes. So this is how it looks, the instance. So from here, we have like lot of other things to continue. We can navigate with, okay, we, this will be the username, password, or this ideally username, password, which you can enter. The other way in organizations, how they do is based on your ID card or based on your PIN, that will be like, they will enable the OAuth or SSO single sign-on. So as soon as you hit the URL, you will be automatically logged in. You don't need to enter username, username password or something. That is how it works. So yes, let me log in once again. I'm trying to request the Rome version, but I'm not getting that option. So I'm just checking on that once. Okay. View profile. I think here is somewhere. Yes. So uh, let me open the instance again. So whenever I mention instance, just remember it is the application, web application. Okay. okay. So, uh, also here, if I can go through here, you can see blogs, communities, like if you face any issues, uh, like you have a new requirement wherein you don't know what to do. In that case, you can go to this communities you can see you can search there you can see either the people would have posted what they the similar questions what you have or you can post the questions and get answers from the people so i would prefer you can just go through all these things and uh, dig more into this wherein you will understand uh, so today I will just log into the instance. I will show different uh, things, how it works and all different uh, search criteria so, and all. And we can uh, dig more into that from tomorrow. Or uh, do you want me to take, uh, I mean, do you want me to share my screen and you can take the control? Okay, yeah, please. Okay, you, you have with, okay, you can click on start building. One second, choose current, away. okay. View options, request remote control, yes, okay. So here you can select the different, available versions. So let us go with the one behind that, which is mostly used. 
because in San Diego version, there are a lot of things that is coming up as new. So uh, I would prefer, let us see what is behind that. It is easy to understand. Then we will see the next versions. San Diego itself, if you go, there are a lot of new things which we will not understand easily. Whenever we click on that start building, this is a page that will open. So now. Tomorrow this will not happen. Okay. So here. Yes. I mean, tomorrow this will not happen again. Okay. Right? Because you have already created. Now. No, no, no. Right now. Uh, yes. Tomorrow. From tomorrow it will be quick. Only like first time it will take time. So here, like we have this logo and this is like a banner, what you're setting up in the top, the company name, then logo and uh, here the file navigator. So here you can search, like if you want to create a user, you can search for that user group roles. And uh, whenever, if you want to do any reporting, you have an option for reports all create new report view run so like there are plenty of options available so now let us first see simple how to create a user that is the first thing let me show it also yes a couple of more things to show here you will always it will be okay so always this will be default and this will be the username if you can see the system administrator will be the username and it will be a search like if you click something admin it will be a global search in whole of the portal whatever is for admin it will search so right now no incident nothing related to that so that's it it is help it will help this toggle bar it will be the user guide that will navigate everything and it is a setting as a developer, you have to have this show update status, show application. So this will be global. Let me make it okay. So this will be the original setup. You have to say on tick on this, this, and notification will be on from all this. You can ignore as of now. Here you have different themes you can select for your this like this dark you can see the background behind how it is changing see this is how it looks so this is how it is like user experience you if i change it to blue this is how it looks so this is how we can change the themes for each one of us for our own instances also, so here you can see this one, add. You, you can add whatever you want here. You will see many, I will explain what are these, these contents and all. But just one example, you can add this ITIL homepage. Everything you can try to add, add content. This is all I will show you how to do in further classes because this is quite tricky you should have some basic stuff to do this. So, uh, so any questions with respect to this? We are good to continue tomorrow? Yes, ma'am. So, my, uh, I would suggest all of them here to have this ready, this instance ready, so that we can start working on this from tomorrow. 